And Congressman Turner isn't the only lawmaker who felt the effects of the tragedy. Senator Peggy Lehner and other lawmakers saw the destruction as they walked along Fifth Street in the early morning hours after the shooting. She drafted several bills that were meant to help prevent another shooting. Two News reporter Adam Reif is live in the Oregon District with where those bills stand. When I reached out to Senator Lehner for this interview, she said, unfortunately, it might be a short one as there's not much progress to report at the state house. She says she's frustrated and discouraged and says it doesn't seem like anyone wants to act. The legacy is not going to be gun safety. It's just not. Republican Peggy Lehner told her colleagues about the bloodstained sidewalks. She told members of her own party that stopping gun violence is pro-life. She told them they shouldn't wait for more bodies and more funerals in their home districts. But no one acted, then or now. I don't see them moving anywhere the rest of this year. Why not? It's tragic. Why, why not? There isn't the will to do it in the legislature. Bills to keep guns from unsafe people, raise the minimum age for buying guns, expand background checks, and close loopholes for unlicensed sellers at gun shows all died in committee and never got a vote. No one's trying to take away guns from law-abiding, uh, responsible citizens. We're just looking to control ownership of guns from people who have a violent record or a history of mental illness or exhibiting signs of mental illness. Less than 24 hours after the shooting, Governor DeWine was drowned out by chance to do something. His multi-point strong Ohio plan faced strong opposition, so he changed tactics, but that plan also went nowhere. He backed off a bit, and even with that, um, he didn't get the full hearings that they deserved and certainly didn't get a vote. Senator Lehner is pressing on but says it shouldn't take another shooting in Ohio to spur action. We had a horrendous one right here in our front door and uh, we didn't even have support from local um, public officials on it. Now, Senator Lehner tells me that former House Speaker Larry Householder was not a supporter of this legislation. She does say that the change in leadership recently could signal an opportunity to move forward. But when I asked her if anyone's mind has changed, if any stances have softened, she said, frankly, I don't think so. Live in the Oregon District, Adam Rife, 2 News, working for you.